There we go. Morning folks. We're going to detect these woods. We've got a clearing here, which I might try and do, but the middle is really swampy. So I might go up, so there's a bit of a ridge there. I'll go actually into the woods. And I'll be on all metal mode and we'll dig up everything anyway and see what we see. There'll be a lot of rubbish as there always is in woods. Just have to dig it all up and filter through it. I'll see the first signal. We've got our first coin of the day. Right there. And I think that's just a modern penny. It is. A modern one pence, but it's a coin. Not two feet away for that one pence. We've got another coin and it's just a modern two pence. Oh, a little coin spill of modern money. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, that seems a bit thick for a two pence. Ten pence! <laughs> I think it's one of the old ten pences, the big fat things. There we go, a little pocket spill of fairly recent money. We've got an interesting looking thing here. It's got flowery pattern sort of things on it. Need to try and clean it up a bit, and the other side looks like that. It's got a thing there, looks like it was attached to something. Kinda of looks pocket watchish, but I don't know. It's a really, it's heavy metal. Let's see if I can. <sighs> oh man, this stuff absolutely stinks. Right, um, let me know what you think that might be, please. Looks interesting. An old and very battered lead bullet. Definitely battered into something at speed, although it hasn't splatted. I think it's just skiffed it right there. Whew, look. Right, just dug that up there. It was given a horrendous signal. Really close to not bothering digging it up. It's obviously a really old coin or token of some sort. I've just tried to clean it up a bit and I'm pretty sure I can see right at the bottom, well, right there 1874 or 1875 you see that? and then there's obviously right in there and I thought 1875 it could be a shilling maybe that says shilling but the date should be right at the bottom if that's the case what is that made of man? it's absolutely tiny and it's bent in it's bent like a love token. Oh, I don't know what that is. Could be a token. 1875. Let me know if you can ID that. If it's some sort of coin I'm not thinking about. That should not be allowed. Is it a silver buckle, like I thought, or is it a bit of tin foil bent just to look like one, just to annoy me? That is unbelievable. It's another coin. Oh, this. Oh, a ship's half penny, I think. Eh, uh, let's. No, that's Queen Elizabeth. Oh man, I think. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth II. So this is this is a two pence. It's a ten pence. We one of the new thin ten pences. Spend the ball. Here you go. A modern spendable ten pence. Right next to the ten pence. What's that? What's that? It's a one pence. Spendable penny. We're making bank today. 
You see, even though there's loads of rubbish, folk drinking in the woods and stuff, they do lose their money. And a third. That looks about the size of a five pence. It is. So 16 pence and three holes. Right, three modern coins in a row, all in this circle. We've got another signal, but it doesn't sound like a coin. Be surprised if that is a coin. That's going to be a bottle top or something. Or a ring pool. There you go. A ring pool. Right in the middle of a pocket spill. How dare you? A button. Next signal, not very old either. Fairly modern, I think. But I don't mind digging them up. I think that's off of somebody's jeans. Right, look, look, look. I'm sorry, I've not been doing live digs because there's so much rubbish in between all these things. I can't, I can't film it all. But look, we've got a button. I think, I think that's a button. Looks like a service button. It's missing the back if it is, but we'll just keep that just in case. I think that's a service button. No, it's not, it's not a service button. <laughs> but it does still have writing round the side, I think. Oh no, it's threaded, oh no! <laughs> it's the top of a toothpaste tube. Oh no! <laughs> right, well, there you go. Glad I didn't have the tripod set up for that. It's a toothpaste tube lid. <sighs> Got a little trail of mushrooms. And a coin. And this looks like an older one. This doesn't look modern. Not a clue. I'll go and clean this up. Give me two seconds. Right, I've done my best. It's enough. It's George V. It's a George V half penny. But the date's gone. Can't be any earlier than 1930, 1936, I think it is. So it's up to 1936 or 35. That's that's all right. It's always encouraging. It's not much, but when you find that after digging so much rubbish, it lifts you up a bit. <sighs> right, that's where I just got that half penny. And it sounds like there's something still there. Could be a coin, but I've had this before. Where it turns out to be something completely not a coin. But give me a sec, see if we've got a wee pocket spill. Know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and get it to stick to the spade in a nice little coin ball sort of thing. Oh, 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 there we go. It's another old coin, yes, a little pocket spill. This is a penny this time. Right, same again. I'll clean it up. Give me a second. Right, look at this. It is another George V. Other side's in good condition. I love it when they look like that. 1916 penny. Beautiful, I love that. Hey, what are you saying? Fair enough, I have just destroyed his house. Right, there we go, a George V penny and a George V half penny.
bit shallow, but it sounds good. Since it's so shallow. Ah, just took a tumble. I need to take, I really need to take more care of that detector. I really do. Right, hold on a sec. Oh, you. It's a bottle top. That's a bottle top. It's Caledonian clear. I'm going to guess whiskey. I don't drink any of that stuff, so I don't know. A bit of tartan on there. It looks like. Alright. That's as much as I can build up a bottle top, I'm afraid. Right. I don't know if I should get excited over this or not. Look at this. This looks so much like a silver ring. It also looks a lot like just a rolled up bit of wire or something. Oh man, this could be a... This could be a silver ring, right. I think it is. Ooh, that is, isn't it? That is a silver ring. It has to be, it looks so thin. Is it? Or is it part of a chain? Or just, what is that? Oh no. I really think that's silver, right? Just before I go ballistic, I'm going to clean it up and just see. <laughs> nah, I think that's silver. I think I've just found a bit of silver in the woods. A silver ring in the woods. Although it is dead thin. Right, I'm not sure. I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to clean this up. That is the first thing worth filming that I've dug up in 70 minutes. It's all been rubbish. Right, hold on. Right, I've given it a clean. There's no hallmarks or anything like that. But it, it's looking like silver. I think I've just found a, a silver something. It might be off a chain or a necklace, but I think that's a really... Like a pinky ring, like that. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to call it a day. Here's how we got on. Quite a lot of rubbish, as I thought. 12 ring pulls, loads of foil, all that good stuff. And toothpaste lid. Right, so what do we get? Seven coins and a token slash coin. Possible silver ring, this thing, two buttons, lead bullet, oldest coin was 1916, unless that's a coin, which would be 1875. Not bad at all for a tiny little bit of woodland hunting, that's bad, but there's always something. Alright, please let me know what you think about some of these things, especially this and this. I'll see you next time, cheers.